Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Corey Mitchell from 24 7 Aesthetics, coming to you with another video. So, today, I'm not working out. Um, actually, I did work out. I did work out with my boy Sean. Um, we met at the gym. This is our first workout together. It was super dope. We did back and buys, did a lot of supersets, a lot of tri-sets. Um, it was crazy. So, we really got after it. A lot of big boy weight. Um, learned a couple things, taught him a couple things, so it's all good. I'm um, definitely probably gonna come up with a new video with him, a little collab and stuff like that. I know he got an Instagram and stuff, so definitely stay tuned for that. Got that in the works. But today, today's video, I want to talk to you guys about knee wraps or elbow wraps, how to put them on, um, what they're used for, why you should use them, etc., etc. So. Me, I don't really use the elbow aspect of them since they're like multifunctional elbow wraps and knee wraps. Um, I don't really lift heavy enough to even do that. So, you know, I, I don't do that. So I, when I use them, I use them for my knees. So a lot of times, well, most of the time, I'm using them for squats, specifically heavy squats. They give me stability um, in a little, uh, compression in my knees when I'm squatting down allows me to hold my perfect uh, stance uh, allows me to get good depth quality controlled depth so when the weight gets heavy we tend to fall down and drop quickly um, so it allows me to come down at a nice even pace without popping up and tearing up my knees and allows me a little brace so I can like kind of press against the knee brace if that makes sense so it's kind of solid foundation not just at the feet when i'm flat footed i mean i'm um, flat footed and um, wearing like bands or something but so i got a press point to flatten some of my legs i mean my feet and then also at my knees so again you just use them for more stability and um compression and basically just keep your knees together and intact when you're squatting heavy because a lot of things can go bad and you don't want bad technique or sloppy technique over a long period of time and you get tendonitis or you tear your ACL or um, MCL or anything like that. So these wraps I got from Simeon Panda's website, Just Lift. That's his company. Everybody loves Simeon. So I got these for Christmas actually. I was gonna buy them, but I got it for a Christmas gift for my brother. So thanks Isaiah. Um, yeah, so at first, a lot of people use knee sleeves where you just literally slide it up and then other people use wraps. Um, I usually didn't use anything, but I did see a lot of people using knee sleeves as I came up, and then that uh, made me more worried about that, but I never really seen the wraps until I seen Simeon Panda do it. So then I was like, okay, I see him working out the same way I do. Might be a good idea to try as I start to want to protect my joints and stuff. So I was like, how do you put them on? He made a video, but ultimately, when you're using these, you need to find what works best for you. Um, I followed the way he did it, and I had to end up doing it like three or four times to perfect, perfectly fit my knee, my quads, you know, my legs, you know, how my body is. So it takes a few times to um, to get that right feeling and actually go into a squat. So before you uh, use them for heavy, heavy lifts, I recommend, you know, when you first get them, pop them up the pack, try to wrap them up, you know, try them yourselves and then try them with light weight, so then when you get to the heavy weight, you can actually do it the proper way and stuff like that. So without further ado, this is what you're gonna wanna do. So it's pretty long. You got the end, Velcro in, and then you have like an end, it's a loop in. This, I feel like you believe, is believe this part is when you use it for the elbows, but like I said, we're not using elbows. And then you have a blank spot, and then, uh, you know, a uh, word uh, logo spot. Logo should be on the outside, and then you should be wrapping the uh, black part over you. So then you're gonna grab it like this, have your legs spread out, right behind the knee, get a nice tight wrap. So I like to go over the knee first, like so, come slightly above, slightly below, back up top, up top one more time, and then wrap. So I like to have a lot of my personal pressure around the top because I feel like if it's lower, it's really more so on my calf and doesn't give me the support stability I need for my knee. So, likewise on the other side. Get this side, right here, stretch your leg out, hold it nice and tight. This first loop should be your, one of your tightest, like make sure this is tight. Wrap around, one up top, one at the bottom, up the top again, wrap around. And if you have enough 
You ever go back this way at the top or finish at the bottom? I like to be even, so this one, finish at the bottom, boom. So now I got two well wrapped knee wraps. And obviously sometimes they look different per knee because I mean, unless you do it perfectly, it takes a lot of practice. So I like to stand up, test them out. These are nice and tight. So when I squat, boom, nice stability. And when I go down, I feel kind of like somebody's helping me out. Like I got an extra pair of hands, keeping my knees in place, keeping them from going out, keeping them from coming in, just keeping them like, like a Smith machine, straight up and straight down. So nice knee. And then it lets me know when I'm at 90, it gets the tightest. So then I know, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and come up. So that definitely helps me keep me from bouncing way down because it physically is restricting my mobility and movement. So it helps me a lot. So yeah, between every set, I tend to take them off, re-wrap them. A lot of time, it's pretty time consuming. So if I was you, I would choose the reps or the sets you do to like your last three or last four, maybe max. Um, a lot of people we wear belts too, so this is just protect your knees. So I wouldn't do this the entire set. If I'm under 315 or 365, probably might not use them, but definitely when I start to get the three wheels and above, I'm starting to think about using knee reps, but for sure over three, 365 and above or four plates, definitely moving up with the knee reps for sure. Like I said again, these are good just for stability, keep your joints you know, nice and safe when you're squatting heavy, a lot of us squat heavy, and then especially you ego lifters out there, y'all definitely want to squat heavy because that's all y'all want to do. So definitely keep yourself straight and um, longevity. So longevity is the name of the game. There's no point squatting heavy now when three years later, four years later, you can't even work out because you put so much pressure on your knees. These are going to take some of the pressure off and some of the tension off. I recommend to everyone. Um, I'm definitely going to get some knee sleeves for convenience. And if I want to be like piling competition stuff, I'd rather use those because it's a little easier. So I don't have to constantly wrap. But as far as training sessions go, these are good. Um, it's a pretty decent investment, about 55, 60 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Probably find some cheaper, but quality over quantity. So I'm gonna get these. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you um, got any questions. I'm gonna play you know, a quick clip of you know doing this over again at the end so you guys can see. But um, yeah, I highly recommend them. After it makes my squat, I feel like go up a little bit, probably like five to 10% increase in weight by using these because it gives me both that mental stability and actual physical stability. So I'm able to go for more weight and confidence. So uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, let me know what knee wraps you use, what brands, or knee sleeves, how you feel about them, whether, I should, whether you think you should use them or should not use them. I think there's a time and place for everything, but I definitely think you should use them when appropriate. So, like I said, Cormita signing out. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.